Nobody does Star Wars like the power of the Force from Kenner. Hey, hey, Star Wars fans. Welcome back to another episode of Power of the Force Fridays. We're sticking with the, uh, the slightly purple patch, no pun, un pun intended, looking at another Shadows of the Empire figure. Now, this is one I would actually like to replace with a fresh... With a fresh Nui, um, this one doesn't have the gun, so I got this figure loose some years ago. Um, but yeah, don't have the original original weapons that he come with, so it is one that I would like to I would like to get a fresh one just to have that excitement of opening up a, a Dash Rendar figure from 1996. Um, so yeah, what I've done is I've proceeded to give him some ridiculously oversized Power of the Force two weapons. I think it fits the point. Um, if I remember. I will put an image up of the weapons he does. Uh, this is the only version of this figure we have ever gotten. I honestly thought we may have seen a slight update, you know, since, but, you know, the years go by, the Dash Rendars don't come. Which is sad, but, you know, there's a lot to be said about this character. He was more or less just sort of a proxy fill-in for, for Han Solo, given that he is a, another Corellian smuggler with a similar ship to the Millennium Falcon, the Outrider. Really cool-looking ship. That's, that's another vehicle I would love to add to the collection as well at some point. Um, yeah, I'm actually going to go on eBay as soon as I'm done recording this video, and get myself a fresh Dash. So one thing I like about it, like about Dash Render, obviously the figure itself, you know, it's it's still of the uh, the Power of the Force buff. Steroid era. But I, I've always liked his outfit. I like, I don't know, I like, the, there's something about the shoulder pads, the, the, the sort of shoulder pads. And there was an outfit in Jedi Survivor. Um, called the Outrider, and it was very, very reminiscent of Dash Rendar's outfit here. Um, really, really cool. Uh, I actually used that for quite a fair bit of the game, to be honest. Um, just trying to get a close-up look at his face there. I feel like it could be the light. I feel like he's missing an eye, which is another. Yeah, I think he is. I think there's. A little bit of paint's gone missing, so I will be replacing Dash Render today. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. So, regardless of his eye, I'm just just wondering. Anyone watching got any ideas? Like, who would you cast to play Dash Render in live action? If 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 this character was to be brought back into into canonical Star Wars storytelling. You know, as a as a Corellian smuggler, exactly how he is. Maybe just incorporate him, the character, into other stories. Who would you cast? I've seen a lot of people do custom Black Series versions of Dash Rendar, and they've used um, Chris Pratt's head from numerous um, Star Lord action figures. You know, he's got the sort of sort of orangey brown or reddy brown hair with a sort of gingerish beard you know short stubble others have repainted it to look that way I don't know I'm, I'm having a hard time deciding who he kind of looks like there's no one really no one really jumping out at me at the moment Just in this angle, there's a little bit of, um, I can't think of the name, the actor that plays Jamie Lannister in Game of Thrones. There's a little bit of that there, like when he was a little bit shabby with the hair, when he wasn't so so, so pretty. <laughs> he had a little bit of a scruffy looking beard and he had lost an arm and all sorts of stuff going on in that series. But he's got a nice bit of bling there on his belt. There's a... I like to think that sort of spins, like he sort of spins it. It's one of those spinning belt buckles. But yeah, I don't know. There's something about that sort of padded look, even even through the pants there. It's kind of cool. 
It was just sort of different enough. They could, uh, you know, bring in a Han Solo type while he was, you know, encased in carbonite. Yeah, again, <laughs> just ridiculous. Blaster pistol and a blaster rifle. Just outrageous. So maybe there was a second version where it was the, more of a deluxe dash. I'm not sure. I can't I can't recall at this very moment in time. As soon as I'm finished recording, of course, it'll jump back into my brain. Um, but yeah, the last week when I did uh, Prince Shizor, I showed a little bit of a look at... Um, you know, it was the Star Wars Omnibus book and the, the novelization of Shadows of the Empire... Um, and then had a look at um, that more modern version of Prince Shizor with Princess Leia from the Legacy Collection, I think it was, Comic Packs. Um, but yeah, never, never again have we seen an update to Mr. Mister Dash Rendar. And I dare say I'm not alone in saying I would love to see a new version of this guy. You show a little bit of love to the old expanded universe that we... You know, a lot of us still hold near and dear to us, especially, you know, growing up with the, with the game. You know, Shadows of the Empire had just about everything except the film. Uh, <laughs> it was a, basically a marketing campaign for a film, but without a film. Uh, novels, comics, games, soundtracks, all that beautiful stuff. It was a, it was a very strange time. Um, and luckily, I was kind of only a kid, so I don't really remember it, but sort of look back and remember how I want it, how I wished it was. If you know what I mean. Child's perspective. <laughs> Alright folks, just, yeah, this is a figure that I've really wanted to check off the list. And I thought while we're on a, while we're on a bit of a look at some Shadows of the Empire stuff, I thought why not bring Dash down. And even just looking at him tonight, I'm like, yep, he needs to be replaced. Otherwise the paint applications on the figure ain't bad. Um, just that one eye and yeah, I've, I've always wanted to make sure he's got all these, got all these accurate, accurate weapons and complete the figures as they, as they should be. But again, thank you very much for watching another episode of Power of the Force Fridays. We'll be back next week with another one. Who knows what it'll be. I think I've done all my Shadows of the Empire figures, um, up until this date. Um, I'm just sort of glancing up and yeah, the one figure I think I'm missing from single releases is Leia and Boosh Disguise. And then there was a couple of, um, expanded universe. There was the, the swoop speeder, which is one I'm missing. Um, so yeah, I might, might have a little bit of a adventure on eBay tonight. We'll see, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next week until then. May the force be with you always. We would be honored if you would join us.